Hi, it's Brian. It's the <clears throat> 28th of uh, October. And of course, uh, people are running around like headless uh, chickens at the moment because they just don't know what to do given the uh, circumstances that the world finds itself in. And of course, uh, we should be making national plans. There should be emergency planning taking place in every country. They should be attempting to figure out how each country feeds itself. Planting food very close to where all uh, populations are, but of course that can't happen now because we've taken a different route and as I said in the past we've overshot in several ways. We've overshot our carrying capacity, we've overshot our energy capacity, we've overshot the environment and we've overshot the economy. So to revert back to a way of living which uh, our grandparents would have been familiar with is uh, almost an impossible ask and yet to survive uh, and to reorganize and to live in a way where uh, the priority is no longer making profit and uh, <coughs> exploiting one another in order to uh, get the ascendancy, that has to all change. And uh, naturally people are going to resist because they have vested interests. I mean, people have gone to universities and they've got professional qualifications and they've bought into a whole system based on inequity and unfairness. And so therein lies the dilemma. How are we going to extract ourselves from all of these powerful, clinging, vested interests?